Welcome back to another episode of Ask the Techies. I'm D. Lee Beard. Sorry it's been a while since I got an episode out, but I was caught in traffic. Um, but here's how you can avoid being caught in traffic using Google Maps. There's a traffic layer that you can view not only on the computer, but also on an iPad. And if you're on a 3G connection, this might help you to know how to reroute your trip. So basically, if you go to Google Maps, you can go to any location. Let's go to, let's go to something different. Let's not go to the US. Let's go to London, UK. And there we go. So in there, there's an option in here to turn on a traffic layer. So instead of just seeing the regular just map, you can turn on traffic. And then we get all these roads lit up. So in this example, we've got a lot of green roads. That means traffic's moving uh, very well. Over here, kind of got a red bit there where it's not working quite so well. You can zoom in and you get a little more detail on each road. Now some of this may not be quite as accurate because it may be going on some, uh, you know, we're stop signs and it makes it look like it's going really slow, but there's a street light. So yes, it does stop periodically and then move on again once the light turns. But for the bigger roads, you're gonna find that it's probably fairly accurate where there aren't any, any uh, lights. Um, and it works in a lot of different places. Let's go to Washington, D.C. We go to Washington, D.C., there we go. And so we can see when's a good time to try to go into Washington, D.C. Probably about 3 a.m., but um, if you are driving into there, you might want to see which route might be the less congested one to go. And if there's construction, things like that, you might want to know about. And again, you can zoom in to kind of get an idea for how traffic is going. Right now, pretty good. There's a little problem right here trying to get off at this uh, interchange. But you can pull back. And you also get these little uh, alerts. See these little yellow things? So you tap on that, and it tells us that there are some delays due to congestion, traffic backups are approximately three miles. So it can give you some information. And down here, you have things like little road construction signs. You tap on that, and it tells you that you can expect delays from July, uh, June 22nd, um, 8 a.m. until June 22nd, uh, 2 p.m. due to construction activities. Whoa, that's really important because it may mean that I might want to reroute my uh, trip to come in a different way if there is a better way to come in, depending on where you live. <coughs> So those little construction sites can give you a warning and tell you the, the range of time in which construction might be going on, as well as you can kind of see if there's a, a big congestion. So if you're driving along and you want to check this periodically, you can also do it on the iPad. When you go into the iPad, there's a layers, the little page curl at the bottom right of the Google Maps iPad app. And when you click on that, turn on traffic, and then you can see traffic. And if you have 3G enabled and you're out on the road, you can actually view the traffic that's coming up ahead to see whether you should, this is a good time to pull over and have lunch because there's a big congestion up ahead due to a tractor or truck accident, or whether you uh, might just want to go ahead and keep on going on until you get past a certain point. So it might be helpful to you, or know if you need to get gas because there's an accident up ahead. Now, I can't predict the future, but it can tell you what's happening in the here and now on the roads with a very slight delay. And this is built in to the Google Maps so you can view on a browser or on the iPad. So, don't be late again.